Okay, so here we go with my second attempt at using my brain shark. Um, this time I'm going to be showing a video, um, although the first image is just a still picture. Um, this video will show me uh, teaching at King Saud University in Riyadh, Saudi Arabia, uh, with some of my students there. And uh, the thing to remember about uh, uploading videos, the video often comes with audio already attached to it. And uh, you may want to either reduce the sound level of that video so that you can do a narration or a commentary over the top, or you may want to remove it altogether, which is probably uh, recommended. For this particular one, I've re-edited my video in another piece of software in order to get the volume levels up uh, sometimes when I want you to hear what the students or I'm saying, or down other times when I want to do a commentary over the top. And you'll notice that when we come onto the video. Okay, so here we go. No. <laughs> go on, it's for me only. Go on. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday, Mr. Fellows. Happy birthday to you. So hopefully that was um, the audio from the original video. I've, I've reduced the audio settings now for the second part. I haven't actually done that in my brain shake. I mean, that's one of the light limitations. It's not really limitation, but you need to remember that you need to change the audio levels before you upload the video to, to, the, to the tool. Now, in this situation, I'm actually teaching a class and being observed. This is my one observed lesson for the year. And I'm doing a warm-up where I'm getting the students to meet and greet each other in various different styles. Firstly, in a normal style. Secondly, uh, as if they haven't seen them each other for six months, and in the third one, which is coming up, I tell them that they um, are meeting. Well, let's listen. This time, I'd like you to um, greet them, but you realise there's something wrong. They have really bad breath. Okay. Okay, so they have really bad breath this time, and they have to go around and try not to let on that they know that they've got bad breath. So anyway, this is just a warm up, and uh, what we'll see in a moment is me beginning to set up a class to do some Socratic Dialogues. Now, Socratic Dialogues are a sort of group exercise where Matthew it's a speaking exercise. Sorry, here we go. Matthew are 11, Matthew are 12, and Matthew are 13. <coughs> Bad. Bad. What I'm doing at this moment is actually just organising the groups. Who is going to be observing who? Because not only do they have to speak in the Socratic Dialogues in their groups, but when they're not speaking, they have to observe one other person in the group, and that's what I'm doing. There's a joke there because uh, the initials of one of the students turns out to be ASS. And that's anyway, the Socratic Dialogues was uh, an assessed part of their yearly program, and at this moment we're just about to go into the Socratic Dialogues, and I'm actually filming this. They know I'm filming them, and the reason for doing that is because I wanted to be able to fairly mark them. They're very uh, particular about making sure they get a fair mark and, if possible, maximum marks. And so I was very clear to them that that's the, the reason behind me filming them for this. And in a moment you'll, um, you'll hear that. Here we go. they hear them uh, talking. The same way is, uh, uh, the same way about uh, the ideas. So the ideas, yes, of course. For example, we have uh, uh, chemistry. We go by the rules of uh, elder, elder uh, yeah, these Socratic dialogues were basically, the theme was uh, logical fallacies, so they were talking about advertising and how sometimes ad advertising uses logical yeah, fallacies such as scare tactic and um, uh, appeal to emotion and other reasons to, uh, to, to use to sell product. And this is what they're uh, investigating. It's trying to get them to do some critical thinking skills because they're, um, wasn't always, they're not always particularly known well for their critical thinking. Here we go. You'll find, uh, like, uh, Let's listen to Atlas's. Talk about uh, the slope, which is a wrong, or it's a wrong thing, and it's a scare. Uh, this Abdullah uh, is talking about an anti-smoking uh, campaign. Uh, so what do you think? Yes, but uh, do you think it is uh, oral to use this kind of fallacies? As bad as they're trying to get the ethical or moral dimension yes, to it. He's just attempting uh, to make sure he contributes to the lesson. About the small he knows he's getting uh, marked. Uh, we know all of that Actually, Abdul Aziz, uh, who's talking uh, here now, he uh, did very, very well in this. And maybe die before, uh, before your day. Uh, <coughs> that's why they, w they have to make a scare tactic about it. So maybe when you read uh, that, when you, uh, uh, when you
يريد so when you read about the smoking it's good or something funny of course you will do it or you will make it but when you read something scary something you will be afraid of it of course you will stop about it.